Hi, this is Ajithya. In this video, we are going to discuss phylum Platyhelminthes, class Trematoda. The example we are going to deal with is Faciola hepatica. Faciola is commonly known as liver fluke. It's an important trematode parasite of sheep, cattle, and other domesticated mammals. It inflicts severe and often fatal damage and results in large economic losses to livestock keepers. The common species of Faciola is Faciola hepatica and it lives as an endoparasite in the bile duct of sheep. The adult flukes are found in vertebrate host, but one stage of their life history is invariably spent in a gastropod such as Limnaea. The body of liver fluke is soft, leaf-like, bilaterally symmetrical and dorsoventrally flattened. The size varies from 1 mm to 3 cm in length. The anterior end of the body has a conical projection called the head lobe. At the end of this lobe is a mouth surrounded by the oral sucker or the anterior sucker. On the ventral surface, a little below the head lobe, is a posterior sucker or ventral sucker. It's also called acetabulum. It is bigger in size than the anterior sucker and between the two suckers and close to the posterior sucker is a pore called the genital pore. The excretory aperture is situated at the extreme posteriormost tip of the body. The body is covered by a tegument, a peculiar kind of epidermal arrangement and the tegument consists of a small syncytial layer and an inner layer where the main cell bodies are found. The tegument serves the function of protection, excretion and gaseous exchange. Beneath the tegument, there are circular, longitudinal and oblique muscles. The digestive system consists of a mouth, pharynx and a bifurcated intestine which is highly branched. The excretory system consists of longitudinal excretory canals and the associated flame cells. Faciola hepatica reproduces sexually. The adults are hermaphrodites, but cross-fertilization is simply the rule. The fertilized X leaves the vertebrate host through feces and urine. Each egg hatches out as a free-swimming ciliated larvae called miracidium. The larvae happens to penetrate the body wall of an aquatic snail that comes in contact with it. Once inside the snail, the miracidium metamorphoses into a sac-like sporocyst without any gut. The sporocyst contains several embryos. Each embryo develops into another sporocyst or into a redia, which has a mouth and a gut. So the sporocyst shows polyembryony. Within the radia are several embryos which develop into cercaria. The cercaria has a gut, suckers and a tail. The cercaria leaves a snail and attach itself to the green leaves that are found in any water body. It becomes encysted to form metacercaria. When a sheep feeds on such infected green leaves, metacercaria enters its gut. The metacercaria now escapes from the cyst by a process called excystation and then it migrates to the liver duct and grows into the adult. In Faciola, since the life cycle includes two hosts and at least two infective stages, Faciola is usually termed as a digenetic trematode. Now we will discuss polyembryony in Faciola hepatica. During the transition from a miracidium to a sporosis, polyembryony occurs. The embryo divides repeatedly and gives rise to numerous sporosis of similar kind. Polyembryony is an adaptation of parasitic mode of life. This ensures prolific breeding and maintenance of sufficient number of the parasite through the different stages of the parasitic life. The disease caused by the infection of Faciola hepatica is called as Faciolysis. It mainly affects the liver, but it also causes inflammation of the bile duct, causing loss of its epithelium. The bile duct soon becomes calcified and gallstones are formed in it. Heavy infections can ultimately result in hemorrhage. The young fluke undertake a migration to the liver tissue during which the liver is extensively damaged. 
the liver function is seriously affected and the sheep are said to have a disease called liver rot the affected sheep becomes dull and sluggish it is followed by swelling and pain in the abdomen weight loss occurs inflammation of the liver results and finally it will result in the death of the sheep so how we can prevent phaseoliasis from happening we can avoid grazing of sheep on the banks of ponds and streams especially during drought season that is when the cercaria emerges from the snails sacrificing heavily infected sheep and destroying the parasites will help a lot in preventing the transmission of the parasite destruction of the intermediate host that's the snail by appropriate means can also control the spread of phaseoliasis snails can be killed by the application of copper sulfate in ponds and ditches allowing the ducks to forage on the paddy fields and ponds can help in checking the population of the snails proper washing of green vegetables and appropriate cooking will eliminate the chances of transmission of the parasite to man facial hepatica can be eliminated from the final host by the use of anti helminthics such as carbon tetrachloride and hexachloroethane thank you for watching this video please subscribe and share hit the bell icon for notification